Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So, today we have a battle against Dragon, random person offline. And so, yeah, um, there you can see uh, my team on the side there. It is going to be the same one that I used in the last game here. Um, looking at the opponent's team here, it looks to be very strong, very well balanced, very meta. Um, so yeah, what do I want to lead with here? Uh, hmm. I think we're going to go with the Snee Sealer in this one. And yeah, we will see how that works out. So, just making his selection there, it looks like. So, yeah. Um, once again, very strong team uh, here. We'll see what we can do against it. Um, yeah. As he is just about out of time here to make his selections. All right, there we go. So we'll see how this goes for us. All right, so there he is. And it looks like he's gonna go ahead and lead with the Garchomp as we led with the Sneasler. So, um, not the best of matchups for us in the world here. Um, I think our best option in this situation is just to go ahead and U-turn out on this thing, so that's what we're going to do as we do outspeed this thing. Hit it with a Choice Band U-turn, which actually does a lot of damage, takes it down by nearly half. Um, we are going to unfortunately take some uh, Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet damage there, but we do get to pivot out, which is nice. And so I think... What do we want to come in with here? I think we'll come in with the uh, Mesprit. I think that's probably the best course of action, so that's what we're going to do. Um, he may well just decide to set up hazards, but we'll see. As uh, He actually goes for the Earthquake instead, so we do catch him with the uh, Levitate. Not going to affect us, the Earthquake is. So um, that's pretty good. Um, now we have a little bit of a choice to make this turn because he has a lot of potential switches out to us here. So we could definitely... Um, try to just take this thing out with an ice beam or we could try to set calm mines i think it's a little early to try and calm mines i think we're just going to ice beam here see what he wants to do as he does stay in go for the stealth rock to get the entry hazard set up on us which is unfortunate um but we are going to be able to go for the ice beam in return on this thing and that will definitely take the garchomp out and knock him down to five so uh we're definitely able to catch him off guard with that ice beam which is great as a Mesprit's move pool is so wide, um, it can have so many different attacks, it can be physical or special, so um, that usually does catch people off guard, which is pretty nice. So, um, he did get the hazards up on us, but um, we'll just kind of have to deal with it. We unfortunately don't have a way to remove hazards on this team, so um, yeah, we'll see what he wants to bring in in response. He does unfortunately have a lot of switches in here to the Mesprit, um, but we'll just have to see what he wants to do. So, um, it is going to be the Grim Snarl. So, that's kind of as expected. Um, we don't really want to stay in on this thing. It may well just set screens, but even so, um, I think our best bet here is to go ahead and switch out to the Bisharp, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, we'll see where that gets us. So there it is, and we do take the Stealth Rock damage as he does go for the Light Screen, which is unfortunate, going to get that um, special defense increase for all of his Pokemon. This turn, I say, um, we have a choice to make because we could actually Brick Break to get those screens off the board. Um, if he does pivot out, that would be bad news. Um, I kind of don't want to reveal that I have Brick Break just yet, and I kind of want to get Stealth Rock up. Um, as that seems pretty useful. So we're just going to Stealth Rock here as he indeed does go for the Reflect. 
Um, unfortunately, to get the physical defense increase for all his Pokemon, we are going to get the um, Stealth Rock up on his side of the field, which is nice. Um, and so, yeah, I think in this situation, the good thing is he can't really parting shot here because we are a dark type. So um, a lot of times these things only have one attacking move. Um, it's usually Spirit Break, um, and that would actually... Uh, trip our Defiant to raise our attack, so I don't know that he would really want to go for that. Um, what do we want to do? How do we want to handle this? I do kind of want a Brick Break, but the only problem is he does have the obvious switch out to the Cerule Edge here, so that is definitely a problem for us. I think predicting that, we just go into the Don Dozo. I think that's probably our best play, more than likely. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go into the Don Dozo here as um, he actually stays in, which is interesting. And he's going to go ahead and, or we're going to go ahead and come in with the Don Dozo as uh, we do take that Stealth Rock damage. And he does go for a Thunder Wave, so that's interesting. Going to land that, paralyze the Don Dozo, unfortunately, so that's uh, definitely going to not really hurt us as far as speed goes. Um, but it would hurt us if we get full parried. So we're going to get some HP back with the Leftovers, which is nice. Um, in this situation, I think our best play is just to try and curse up here, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go for a curse, and uh, he is going to go for the switch here, and he's going to switch directly into his uh, Toxtricity, as I probably should have expected that. He's going to take some Stealth Rock damage. We are going to go for the curse, uh, which is going to drop our speed and give us a an attack and defense increase, which is nice. So. We are also going to regain some HP with the leftovers. So we have a big choice to make on our hands right now because we're actually Terra Ground with the Don Dozo. So if we Terrastalize into a ground type, predicting the electric attack, um, that could be big for us. And then we could hit this thing really hard with a plus one earthquake. Um, the question is, do we really want to go in all in on the Don Dozo? Because that play would basically be going all in on the Don Dozo, and it is paralyzed, so that might not be the best plan. Um, I don't know if I really want to burn my Terra like that. Um, there is every opportunity that he could also Terra, uh, predicting us to switch out and go for something else other than an electric attack, so this is going to be a difficult decision. I feel like we'd probably stay in and try to attack this thing, but I don't want to burn my Terra just because we're paralyzed. If we weren't paralyzed, I'd be more comfortable using the Terra here. Um, but we're just going to stay in and try to Earthquake. Maybe he over predicts, but no, he just goes for the Overdrive. And we actually do survive uh, with 9 HP in the red, which is incredible. We go for the Earthquake, and it is enough to go ahead and get rid of that Toxtricity, knocking him down to 5. So that is pretty incredible for us. Um, Don Dozo. Uh, doing some good work there. Um, surviving the overdrive was great, um, although obviously at this point we are worse for wear. Um, so if we had Terrid there, it would have been nice, but again, just didn't want to risk it being parried. So now he's going to come in with the Corviknight, going to take some Stealth Rock damage, and so um, he's going to get the pressure coming into play as well. And so I think we just go straight for Liquidation here. There's no point in trying to switch to save the Don Dozo, so that's what we're going to do. He is going to go straight for a Brave Bird here, and obviously that will finish the Don Dozo from that range and knock us down to uh, 5 as he does take some recoil damage. And actually, I believe he's knocked down to 4. I uh, forgot that we had also already taken out the Garchomp. And then he is going to regain some HP with the Leftovers. So it's 5-4 right now. Um, I think our best play here is he does unfortunately still have screens up, um, but I think our best play is actually come in with the Electrode, so that's what we're going to do. So there it is, and we do take some Stealth Rock damage here. Now, he does have the screens up still. Um, he doesn't really have the best of switches in uh, to an Electric Attack now, so um, I think what we're going to do, since he still has the screens, is we're just going to we're going to volt switch on this thing um, hit him with a choice specs volt switch it should still do good damage um, despite the screens and uh, we'll see what he wants to go into as he does stay in get him with the choice specs volt switch that does not do hardly any damage to the corviknight unfortunately um, we do get the pivot out which is nice um, what do we come in with here what would he go for he could be going for the brave bird which would be bad um, I kind of don't want to come in with the Bisharp just because he could have body press. A lot of times they do. Um, 
We don't really have the best of switches into the Corviknight here, but I think... Hmm, I think we probably just go back into the Mesprit. I think that's probably our best bet, so that's what we're going to do. So there it is. And we do take the Stealth Rock damage as he goes for the Brave Bird again. So that is going to do not too much damage to us. He is going to take some Recoil, which is nice. Um, and then we are going to get some HP back with the Leftovers. And um, he is also going to get some HP back with the Leftovers. So we know we're faster than him, which is good. Um, let's see. How many more turns on the screens does he have? They should be about up, I believe. As uh, He's got one turn of the Light Screen, two turns of the Reflect left. Um... So I think our best course of action here is probably... We could Calm Mind up, um, although I don't know if it's worth it. I kind of feel like it might be. I don't know if he stays in here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go for a Calm Mind, see where that gets us. Uh, he does stay in, so we do go the Calm Mind, and we're going to get that uh, Special Attack and Special Defense increase. Not going to really help us on the defensive side, unfortunately. He does go for a Taunt, which is interesting, so... Um, good thing that we did outspeed him there, so we were able to get one Calm Mind up, which is nice. Um, we do also regain some HP with the Leftovers, which is also nice, as he regains more HP with his Leftovers. And um, this turn, the Light Screen is going to end. So that means that he does not have Special Defense Increase anymore, which means we have free reign to go for the Thunderbolt. That's exactly what we're going to do here. And uh, it should hit something for some pretty good damage, hopefully, as uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He actually is going to go for the switch this turn, and he's going to switch directly into the uh, Grim Snarl once again. So that thing comes in, takes some Stealth Rock damage. We are going to go for the Thunderbolt here, and uh, at plus one, it still does not do nearly enough damage, unfortunately. Um, and then we do get some HP back with the Leftovers and uh, the Reflect is going to be gone as well. So, unfortunately, um, we have a little bit of a choice to make on our hands here because we could actually terastalize into a... We know he's going to set screens. That much is a given at this point. So I think our play here actually is we're going to go ahead and terastalize into an electric type, losing all of our weaknesses, and we're going to hit him with a Thunderbolt. Now, unfortunately, it won't be enough to take this thing out, um, but I think that's probably going to be the play right now so you know what we're just going to go for it we're going to bust out this strategy and hope that it uh hope that it serves us well enough uh so yeah going to terastalize our mesprit here into an electric type of course thanks to the levitate ability that means that we now have no weaknesses which is pretty cool sitting at plus one special attack and special defense as well he does indeed go for the light screen unfortunately to get that special defense increase back up for all of his pokemon as we do go for the thunderbolt here it is now terra boosted but unfortunately i don't think after the light screen it, yeah it's not going to be enough to uh to take this thing out um and then we are going to regain more hp with the leftovers which is nice so unfortunately there's nothing we can do um, to stop him from getting the Reflect up as well, but we can still go for another Thunderbolt, so that's exactly what we're going to do, as indeed he is just going to set the Reflect again, which is unfortunate, but uh, not a whole lot we can do. And we go for the second Thunderbolt. Is it going to be enough this time around to take the Grim Snarl out? No. Still not quite enough to take the Grim Snarl out, which does suck, as we do uh, get some more HP back with the leftovers, but the taunt is now over, which is actually pretty important because that means that we can actually probably relatively safely go for another Calm Mind here rather than take this thing out, so that's exactly what we're going to do. As he stays in, we go for the second Calm Mind here, so we're going to go ahead and get another Special Attack and Special Defense. We don't know his last move, but we're probably going to find it out right now. It is, in fact, Spirit Break. So he hits us with that, and that does do some decent damage to us and lowers our special attack, so that is unfortunate. Um, so so unfortunately, we can't really win the race with this thing, um, thanks to the guaranteed special attack drop on the Spirit Break. So we basically just have to stay in here. So anything we go for at this point will take him out. So um, we might as well just go for an Ice Beam here, so that's what we're going to do. And um, that is going to get rid of the... Grimmsnarl at this point and knock him down to three. So that's not bad for us. Unfortunately, he still has a lot of turns of screens left, but there's not much we can do about that. The only good thing here is that we are sitting at uh, plus one special attack, plus two special defense with the um, 
with the Mesprit, and we have no weaknesses. So now he comes in with the Cerule Edge, which is kind of what I was afraid of. He does take some Stealth Rock damage, which is great. And so I think our best play here, we kind of have two options. We can either Thunderbolt this thing, um, or we can Mystical Power. I feel like going for the Thunderbolt's probably better just because we don't want to risk missing the Mystical Power. Um, so I kind of want to do that. So we're just going to do that here. Uh, we're just going to Thunderbolt him as he stays in, goes for the Swords Dance. Kind of figured he would do that, which is terrifying, obviously. Um, but we are going to go ahead and Thunderbolt this thing here. It is Terra boosted. Um, the screen and the plus one cancel each other out, and that is going to do some serious damage to this thing, knocking it down to about um, a third HP, which is great. Um, and then we get some HP back from the leftover. So hopefully, um, we're just going to have to hope we can take an attack from this thing. We're just going to Thunderbolt again here as he goes for the Bitter Blade. It's at plus two, and unfortunately, uh, we cannot take that. So that is extremely unfortunate. Um, he's going to regain a whole ton of health from that too. Um, and that's going to take our Mesprit out and knock us down to... Four. So that is definitely horrible. Um, and yeah, that's definitely horrible. So now we have to decide. Unfortunately, the screens are still up too. Um, so we have to kind of decide um, how we want to handle this. He has not Terrid yet either, which is a problem. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a problem for us. Um, I think our best bet here is probably... Will Plot, what do we have that survives plus two Shadow Sneak better between the Electrode and the, um, and this? I feel like, uh, this is going to suck. I feel like our first line of defense has to be to try the, or is it the Bisharp? I think it might be the Bisharp. No. Let's try the uh, let's try the Sneasler first. Um, see what he wants to do. See if he's gonna Terra. So we're gonna come in with that. Take some rocks. Um, he could he could still Terra here, um, but we're just gonna go for the Shadow Claw anyway and see what happens. We are Choice Band. He doesn't Terra. We go Choice Band Shadow Claw. It is unfortunately not enough. Um, thanks to that those screens being up as he goes for another Bitter Blade takes out. So the screens are really screwing us right now, uh, keeping this thing alive, and uh, that is obviously awful, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So um, yeah, this thing is really doing a serious number to us, and there's plenty of turns of screens left, unfortunately, as well. So I think um, the only thing we can do here... He's not, I don't think he's within range that a Sucker Punch from Bisharp can take him out, unfortunately. Um, and I don't think we can take an attack at plus two from that thing with Bisharp. Um, I think Reggie Drago could probably take an attack. Um, and that's really just what we're going to have to bank on, I think, is we're just going to have to bank on Reggie Drago being able to take an attack from this thing. Uh, so we take some Stealth Rock damage as we come in with the Reggie Drago. Um, I think our best play here is probably um, I think it's probably to go for Draco Meteor because we know this thing's going to outspeed us more than definitely um, so we just go Draco Meteor here as he goes for close combat and we actually can take it um, he cuts his defenses off of that and we go for the Draco Meteor we do connect is it going to be enough yes it is going to be enough uh, thanks to those defense drops to go ahead and get rid of that uh, Cerule Edge knocking him down to two. So that is definitely incredible for us um, as we get some HP back from the leftovers. So Reggie Drago definitely coming in uh, clutch for us there. The light screen is going to be over as well, which is nice, which means there's only one more turn on Reflect. So now he's going to go ahead and come in with the um, King Gambit, unfortunately. He takes the Stealth Rock damage. Of course, he's backing Supreme Overlord. And, uh, yeah, this thing could definitely be a problem for us. We're just going to stay in and go Earth Power. No reason not to here. Um, as uh, go Earth Power on this thing, it's going to do basically no damage um, thanks to the special attack drop. He goes for a Swords Dance, which does suck because um, that's going to give him that sharp attack increase. And then uh, we're going to get some HP back with the Leftovers. So um, this is definitely going to be bad. Uh, the Reflect is gone, which is good. 
Um, we just Earth Power again here. That's all we can really do. Um, as he's actually going to go ahead and bust out his Terra. Kind of figured he would. Um, with just a few minutes left in the battle here, what type is he going to Terra into? It is going to be Flying. So that's interesting. So he's going to go Terra Flying on us. And so he is going to uh, actually get us because he just uh, is going to go for a Kowtow Cleave um, and take us out. Unfortunately, we did outspeed, but Earth Power not enough, um, obviously, since he's flying to do anything. So he takes us out, drops us down to two. Our only hope here is a Bisharp of our own, so we're going to have a showdown between Bisharp and King Gambit here um, as really our only hope. We're going to come in with that, take some Stealth Rock damage. Um, I think our best course of action here is to... We know we outspeed this thing, actually, because I believe uh, Bisharp actually naturally outspeeds King Gambit. So I think um, Sucker Punch might be our best play unless he decides to Swords Dance again, which is... Um, this is going to be a difficult decision, actually. I think... Um, I th I think, you know what, I think Iron Head's actually a better play, so we're going to do that. He actually does go for the Sucker Punch. It does a lot of damage, but we do take it. Uh, we go for the Iron Head in return. It's not quite enough to take him out, unfortunately. I think this turn we definitely go Sucker Punch. That's what we're going to do as our Sucker Punch goes first. It's not quite enough to take him out, unfortunately. Um, but then he goes for a Sucker Punch of his own, and it fails because we are faster. So that's incredible. Um... What does he do here? The timer is almost up. Um, what do we do? I think we have to Sucker Punch. So that's what we're going to do. We go Sucker Punch. It does take care of the uh, King Gambit. Fortunately, with seconds left on the clock, knocks his King Gambit out and drops him down to just one Pokemon, um, which is obviously incredible for us. And uh, as the timer is about to run out here, his last Pokemon is going to be the Corviknight, so he's going to come in with that, take some Stealth Rock damage, and unfortunately uh, his pressure comes into play as time is up. So, um, yeah, that is going to be game at this point. Um, so I think we just, at this point, we just obviously click Brick Break, not like it matters. So, um, yeah, that uh, time is up, and that is game. So uh, we are going to actually win that one 2-1 against Dragon. Um... Very good match, actually. Very close, very competitive um, game there. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the timer, <laughs> Revenge of the Timer, um, once again, that's two in a row now. Um, yeah, that is that is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, but it is uh, good, uh, I guess, technically good because we do technically get the, um, the win here, 2-1 over Dragon. Um, I think even if the timer wasn't a factor, I think we were probably still in good shape in that one because um, our last Pokemon was the uh, Electrode, obviously, uh, which could uh, probably handle the Corviknight from that range. But um, but once again, as I said, uh, the timer playing a factor. Um, we've been spoiled, I guess, with the, with the, um, the extended timer in the League games as of late. So now that we're back to this uh, stupid 20-minute game timer, um, in-game timer. We're uh, right away back to feeling the effects of that, but uh, great match nonetheless. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.